Good morning! Are there any German viewers out there? Side note, I took German lessons when I was in high school for a year. Not really speak any German. Just woke up, per usual. I'm gonna go make my breakfast. This is just like a regular day for me. A regular Wednesday. Um, I am gonna go work out at one of my favorite Pilates reformer classes and maybe work in a coffee shop for a little bit, but really like nothing, nothing crazy today. Actually, something crazy today. I'm going to see a live recording of NPR's How I Built This. Yeah, that's it. That's, I'm seeing that tonight. So that should be really cool. Uh, but other than that, just going to try and get some work done and eat some good food. So I'm hungry. I'm going to make breakfast. So I've been starting off my day with chia pudding. I just make a big batch at the beginning of the week and I just use coconut milk and some chia seeds and then I like to top it with some fruit. So I had some strawberries and some amazing peaches that we got at this organic peach stand farm thing in Sonoma. Oh my God, they're so good. I top it with a little bit of almond milk just to you know break it up because sometimes it gets a little too thick and then add in some fruit and that's my breakfast. And then I took Bodhi on a walk before I headed to my workout, which like I said, was a Pilates reformer workout. I go to this place called Body Rock and I absolutely love it. It's in the marina and I just love the atmosphere there and it's just super chill and the workout is awesome. If I'm gonna pay for a workout, I tend to do things like Pilates or bar just cause that's the kind of stuff that I like to do. All right guys, workout done. It was really hard, like probably one of the hardest ones I've done there. And now I am currently walking up the Fillmore Mountain, as I like to call it, up to Jane to grab some lunch and get some work done. I do this to myself. I could take an Uber. That feels very lazy. Or I could have just gone somewhere closer. But I just love Jane. So that's where I'm going. Wish me luck. I'm already out of breath and I'm about a quarter of the way through. But I'm going to put on the new Lord album, power up this mountain. Okay. So I got to Jane right around lunchtime. It's the perfect place to get like a healthy bite to eat in San Francisco and also just bunk up and work for a couple of hours. I got their turkey sandwich on sourdough. It totally hit the spot and they also put pickles on the side and I love pickles. And I got an ice green tea and a cookie to go. And I just crossed the street to go to Credo Beauty to buy some stuff I don't need because that's what I do. When I got home, I took Bodhi to the beach to help him get some exercise and just relax and de-stress. A guy on the beach told me to put my phone away and he was so right. So after I got this, I put my phone away for the next couple of hours and just enjoyed the afternoon. And it really helped put me in like a good headspace. So when I got home, I had a glass of wine, I ate some cheese and some olives that we got in Sonoma last weekend. And then I met up with my friend Danny for dinner at a place called Lemonade. And they do like a bunch of like farmer's market salads. I don't really know what to call it, but I just kind of got a mishmash of all of that for dinner before we went to the live recording of how I built this. It was so cool and so inspiring. Peanut butter cups and some tea. This is the Love Tea from Puka. I've been really into it. It's really good for sleep or just like calming down. There's like rose and chamomile and lavender in it. Mm, it's really good, but I really wanna eat one of these peanut butter cups, so one secundo. So good, I was really hungry. So I just got home from a live recording of NPR's podcast, How I Built This, and basically they interview founders and CEOs of major companies. So tonight they interviewed the founders of Reddit, which was really, really cool to hear their story because they actually sold years ago to Condé Nast, but they now work for Condé Nast. They came back because their company was like their baby and I so get that feeling and they just felt like things weren't going well and they had to come back. And I think that's really cool to hear a story like that and just hear about their relationship and hear about Serena Williams. Yeah, she wasn't there though. But anyway, it was awesome. Had dinner with my friend Danny and then saw the recording just got back, took Bodhi out. It's late now, it's like 10.30 now. Um, so I'm having a little evening snack and then I'm just gonna crash, go to bed, do do my thing. Um, 
But yeah, it was just a regular day for me. I don't know, I like sometimes feel like I need to like theme these for you, but the reality is I'm just showing you what I eat in a day and it doesn't always have a theme. So this is no theme, what I eat in a day. If you guys are liking these videos, let me know in the comments below. I've heard from some of you that you really like these because it feels like it's not a production because it's not, my life is not a production. Um, but if you want to see other kinds of content, definitely let me know that too. Just comment below letting me know. I always love hearing from you guys and I'm there reading and I want to be able to interact with you. So let me know if you're there. And if you're really into these What I Eat In A Day videos, give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Like I say every week, that way you don't miss a future video. You just have to hit that little button down there and you can hit the little bell thing that will actually email you to let you know. But if you don't hit the bell, no worries you'll still get a notification within YouTube. But anyway, just wanted to let you know that. But I'm exhausted. It is time to go to sleep and eat this other peanut butter cup. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you again in my next video, whenever that is. Maybe Friday, who knows, we'll see. I'll surprise ya. Bye guys.